Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm JB Gunner, a.k.a. Teardrop, and this is The Legend of Teardrop. We're coming to you with some more news here today, and it's coming out of West Virginia, in which uh, well, a judge made a, a controversial decision. Today, we're going to talk about a controversial topic, pipelines. All right, let's just get right into it. You know who I am. You know what this is. This is Teardrop, and welcome to New to the Wild. I'm glad you guys are back. Hope you guys, uh, this is, these are the type of videos I'm going to be doing. I am doing more hiker spotlights. I've been setting them up. Uh, I got a couple coming uh, this week and next week. But right as of for right now, I'm, I'm enjoying just kind of scrolling through the, the Appalachian Trail news, the hiking news, and kind of giving it to you at the same time. So today we're going to get into a story. This is Teardrop, and welcome to New Sorry about that. Anyway, we're going to go to the Roanoke Times, where it's, what it's talking about here is a West Virginia judge denies an injunction to remove the pipeline protesters from trees. Now, many of you guys, if you don't know what's going on, there's supposed to be two pipelines coming to the Appalachian Trail, and uh, we essentially got a bunch of liberals losing their fucking minds about it. Uh, even though it's going to bring jobs, it's going to do all those things, we get these uh, the tree hugger types that are, that are flipping the fuck out. So they're protesting... Um, about this situation, even though there's already pipelines, uh, fuck it. I mean, it just is. You can you cannot um, never try to find logic in what a liberal is talking about. And if you're a liberal and you're mad about what I'm saying, I'm sorry. But at the end of the day, um, jobs mean a little bit more to me um, than this little shit that you that you're whining about. So anyway, here's what we do. We got, here's what we got. We got a bunch of retarded motherfuckers sitting up in trees protesting, as you can see. Uh, and it's right off the Appalachian Trail. But we're going to look at the article a little bit. And this is in Union, West Virginia. It says, an attempt to flush pipeline protesters from their stands and trees atop Peters Mountain fell short Tuesday. Monroe County Circuit Judge Robert Irons denied a preliminary injunction requested by Mountain Valley Pipeline, which sought the court's intervention to remove these little bastards um, which have become a, a troublesome obstacle to its plans to build a natural gas pipeline through West Virginia and Southwest Virginia. Although Iron said last week that he was inclined to grant the injunction because these little bastards stink and they're sitting right in the middle of the fucking uh, work zone, uh, his view changed during a hearing Tuesday when William DePaulo in a attorney for the tree sitters, the tree huggers, uh, argued that Mountain Valley has pr failed to prove that they are actually in the route, route of the proposed pipeline. Uh, listen, you dumb bastards. Why do you think they picked that exact spot? Of course, you know what, it just is what it is. Um, all you got to do is go to one of these retarded Appalachian Trail Facebook pay groups and you'll literally see all these, all these little retards running around talking about this shit. You know, they're, they're, DePaulo re repeatedly raised questions about the survey and calculations and map drawing that the Mountain Valley re relied upon. In, uh, let me let me start that over. DePaulo repeatedly raised questions about the survey and calculations and map drawing that Mountain Valley relied on upon in asserting that the tree sitters were blocking the pipeline's path. Uh, in quotation, like so many things in life, the devil is in the details. Iron said in announcing his decision. The surprise ruling came today, the 23rd day of the sea protest, because none of these bastards have any kind of jobs, lives, or anything. This is just what the liberal protesters do. They, they just cause shit. They're all funded by George Soros, and they're all just ridiculous. So these little bastards have literally been sitting up in trees for 23 straight days. Amazing. All right, which shows no sign of ending. Uh, they could go, just go get a fucking job. How about that? Just go get a job, and then it'll end. Um, it was not clear after it was not clear after hearing what step Mountain Valley would what step Mountain Valley would take next. The company has said the pro and I know this video is not going to be popular with a lot of you. I don't care. Just is what it is. The company has said the protesters uh, on two small wooden platforms suspended by ropes about 25 feet above the ground. God damn! I hope you bastards fall. I hope you fall to your death. I'm not joking. I hope you fall and land right on your dumb ass necks. Uh, that's how many people was it? Because that's less Hillary Clinton voters that should that'll be here next time. How many people was it? I'm trying to look and see how many of these little fuckers are there. I can't see the number. I don't know. Okay. 
uh, are sitting in trees that need to be cut down before Mar uh, March 20th, 31st deadline imposed by federal wildlife protections. Good. Cut the motherfuckers down while they're up in the trees. I'll help. I'll come volunteer. I'm literally in West Virginia right now. I will come volunteer for free. And I will cut the trees down with the fucking bastards in it. I'm not joking. Just call me. I got, I'll, I'm, I'll, I'll be there tomorrow. All right. While we are disappointed with the court's decision, the MVP project team will continue to move forward with construction activities along other portions of the 303-mile route. The Mountain Valley spokeswoman Natalie Cox said in a statement, As always, we respect the opinions of those who are opposed to the MVP project, and we want to ensure everyone's safety throughout the various phases of the construction process. Not me. I say cut the trees down and let them break their necks. That's just me, though. But in court Tuesday, an attorney for the company made it clear that it needs the protesters gone from two oak trees in the Jefferson National Forest near the Virginia state line. The, oh, you guys are some lazy little motherfuckers. That's the, area, that, that's the area you're protesting in? At least you could have picked a harder part of the trail. The Monroe County trees are very close to where the company plans to bore a tunnel for the 42-inch diameter steel pipe to pass under the Appalachian Trail before emerging on the Giles County side of the mountain. They're in the area that we need to, f that they're in the area that we need to fell trees and they're interfering with that. That's, I don't understand why that's not arrestable, to be honest. An earlier temporary restraining order against the tree huggers reached the end of its 10 day lifespan on Sunday. During that time, there was no attempt to extract the protesters by Mountain Valley or the US Forest Service, which has imposed an emergency closure of the pipelines right-of-way through about 3.5 miles of public woodlands in Monroe, Giles, and Mon Montgomery counties. <sighs> the Forest Service has said it's monitoring the, the tree hug protests, but it has declined to comment further on what terms, what terms an ongoing on investigation. As far as enforcing a court order is concerned, it, because of, it became abundantly clear Tuesday that location matters. And uh, see, this is bullshit. This is bullshit. I've had no contact order with bitches, and you guys, ex you guys, uh, without a doubt, uh, enforce that shit. Why can't we? Why can't we do the same thing with the tree huggers right here? Seriously. And that, pri and that a pri precise location of the tree sitters has yet to be established. Bullshit. You may, you may guess, and you may guess right. The pilot told the judge, in urging him not to accept the testimony of a Mountain Valley surveyor, who said he found the tree sitters to be within 125 foot right of way approved for the pipeline's construction. But they shouldn't put anyone in a position of guessing, he said. God damn. All right, guys, we're pretty much going to go ahead and you guys get the drift here. What we have, let's go ahead and get back to this. What we have here is essentially the court making a ruling. Um, I, I don't agree with the ruling. At the end of the day, these little jobless bastards are impeding the work efforts. Uh, they are interfering with the work ethics of these gentlemen, um, trying to get this pipeline done. So let me know your, your thoughts. Put it in the comments section. This ought to be good. What are your thoughts on the pipelines? Should they go in? And if you don't believe so, why not? If you do believe so, let me know that as well. Does it, does it piss you off when I bash liberals? Just curious. I'm J.B. Gunner. Teardrop. It's the legend of Teardrop. Go get a job. Go get a job. All you protesters, go get a fucking job. Little Antifa bastards. Shit makes me sick.